Apart from the sun and the moon, Jupiter is the brightest celestial body after Venus. It was named after the chief god of Roman mythology, who was the god of the sky, daylight, and storms, as well as the king of the gods. He was the equivalent of Zeus, who was the chief god in Greek mythology, the lord of gods and of men, leader of the Olympian gods. His name means bright sky. Galileo was the first to observe the planet through his telescope in 1610. He also discovered Jupiter's four largest moons, which have since been named the Galilean moons, in honor of their discoverer. The first mission to Jupiter was by the Pioneer 10 space probe in 1973. Jupiter has also been regularly observed by the Hubble Space Telescope. In 1995, an atmospheric probe was launched from Galileo into the planet's atmosphere. It penetrated 150 kilometers deep, collecting and sending data before it was destroyed by the high pressure of 22 atmospheres and the high temperature of 153 degrees Celsius. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun, second from the Earth, and the closest of the outer planets. It is the largest planet in the solar system, with a diameter of 142,984 kilometers. It has two and a half times the mass of all the other planets combined. Jupiter is a gas giant, so it does not have a solid surface. Its average density is low, 1.33 grams per cubic centimeter. Under the visible cloud layer, is a thousand kilometer thick atmosphere rich in hydrogen, below which, where the pressure may be a million times as great as that of the Earth, there might be a 25,000 kilometer deep ocean of molecular liquid hydrogen, according to models. Jupiter's atmosphere consists of hydrogen, 90%, and helium, but it also contains traces of methane, ammonia, and water vapor. The bands alternate in color, and the winds within the different belts and zones have different speeds, creating vortices. The Great Red Spot is a vast anticyclonic storm of about 30,000 kilometers in length and 14,000 kilometers in width. The Earth would fit inside. It was observed as early as 300 years ago. During the past few years, a number of comets and asteroids have struck Jupiter. An analysis of their traces has led to certain assumptions about Jupiter's atmosphere. Out of all the planets, the rotation of Jupiter is the fastest. It has a powerful magnetosphere, ten times as strong as the Earth's. The magnetic axis of Jupiter is tilted ten degrees from the axis of rotation. Some of the images taken by the Hubble telescope show aurorae on Jupiter. The planet radiates twice as much heat as it receives from the sun. The amount of heat produced inside the planet is similar to the total solar radiation it receives, which is probably due to the potential energy emitted during the slow shrinking of the planet. The core temperature of Jupiter is around 26,000 degrees Kelvin. Jupiter has a ring system made up of dark dust particles, which is less than 30 kilometers in thickness. The moons of Jupiter were named after lovers and favorites of Zeus in Greek mythology. The four largest ones are the Galilean moons. These are Io, Ganymede, Europa, and Callisto. They orbit Jupiter at its equatorial plane and have nearly circular orbits. The first detailed images of their surfaces were provided by the Voyager space probes. There is strong volcanic activity on Io. Its surface features a varied topography of calderas, mountains, and lakes of molten sulfur. Io is mainly composed of rock, and thus its composition is similar to the terrestrial planets. The surface of Europa is covered with thick, smooth ice, 
with streaks crisscrossing the entire surface. There is probably a liquid ocean under the ice layer, kept liquid by tidally generated heat. It is similar to terrestrial planets in structure and composition. Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system. Its diameter is slightly greater than that of Mercury, but it is only half as dense as that planet. Its surface features dark areas with craters and younger, lighter, tectonically more active areas. The crust of Ganymede is composed of ice. There are no distinct layers inside Callisto. According to data provided by the Galileo space probe, it consists of ice, 40%, as well as rock and iron, 60%. Callisto's surface is the oldest in the solar system. It has not changed much in the past 4 billion years.